Here to discuss Arizona Republican Congressman and House Freedom Caucus Chairman Andy Biggs is back. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, and good to have you back, Kennedy. So, uh, you guys, it looks like you're going to have two Democrat senators from what has been a solidly Republican state. So, what's happening in Arizona? Why is the president having a hard time, and uh, why are Democrats really capitalizing on that? Well, we have had a demographic change, as you pointed out. I mean, we, we're right next door to California, and a lot of the people who come here are true refugees. They want to get into the Arizona lifestyle. They're going to vote conservative Republican because that's where they are philosophically. But we get a lot of people who come over. They like the, the cheaper cost of living. They like the fewer regulations, lower taxes, and all of that thing. But they vote like they're still in California. And uh, that becomes a real problem. And so I always say, we're glad to have you here. Please vote to keep us Arizona instead of turning us into California. I know they're having the same problem in Texas. You know, Beto O'Rourke almost yeah. won that Senate seat. And, uh, you know, Ted Cruz obviously prevailed. And now it looks like Joe Biden could win Texas. This is all crazy. Now, you've got different states, so the, the message changes slightly, but what do conservatives have to do to reappeal to those voters? I was talking to Ben Dominich about it a little bit at the top of the show. Is there an identity crisis within the Republican Party, and how can you shore things up and win again? Well, I think in Arizona, we, we're, we're, po we're poised now. I think we're going to have a good outcome at this election uh, for, for red, but the, the reality is we have to keep gonna win? I think I think she has got a real legitimate shot. I think President Trump's going to win by three and a half. And if he does, I think Martha McSally wins mm -hmm. very narrowly. But I think she can win. It's very close, very tight. But I, I think it gets to the point of expanding the base. And what we've seen here is is minority vo voters, whether they're Latino or, or uh, uh, blacks uh, voters, they are actually embracing the Trump, the Trump uh, philosophy. And that is one of freedom. They, they like that. They, they associate with that. They liked the opportunities that were coming. They liked everything from the first step back to the opportunity zones. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we expand that base, I think that we can uh, keep Arizona red for at least another uh, few cycles. I'm surprised it has taken this long for Republicans to reach out to non-white voters. And, and they've always taken for granted that Latinos and blacks don't vote Republican. And hopefully your party will see that people are not monoliths. They are not part of mindless blobs. And you're absolutely right. You have to appeal to individuality, freedom, and success. Because everyone right. wants to be a part of a boom. Everyone wants the rising tide to lift their boat, especially if that boat will someday become a yacht. No, that's exactly right. And I think this president, uh, when he was campaigning in 2016 and what he has done since then, uh, you saw the tremendous uh, uh, low unemployment rates, mm -hmm. the, the opportunities, the, the, the actual wage increases. When people feel that, they do understand pocketbook uh, uh, politics. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think you can expand the base. And I think that's why he's expanded the base in Arizona. Well, we will see. Uh, Lil Wayne endorsed him in the yeah. Platinum Plan tonight. Uh, does that resonate with voters enough to, to push him over the top? We'll see. Congressman Biggs, thank you so much. Yep. Thanks, Kennedy.